There have been so precious few moments of pure magic in British sport. Len Hutton taking 364 off the Aussies. Lester Piggott easing the Derby winners home at Epsom. Jeff Hurst scoring the winning fourth goal at Wembley in the 1966 World Cup. You may have thought those moments are over. They aren't yet. Not with this man around. Phil Taylor bestriding the stage one of the modern giants of British sport and we are sure to be seeing look at that average Dave 111 ah fancy him we might get that tie here 105 Askew has to play out of his cotton picking socks to stop the power going to the final Taylor in absolutely frightening form there's Dave Askew he's, he's, he has been steady and solid and gonna have to put 10 on the averages though he won't beat Taylor with an average of less less than 98 which is Taylor's worst average in the two games the two games of 98 he's played a game in 111 if Taylor gives it a ton plus average and takes it as high as 105 or 107 like he did last year's final against John Park at 107. Diamond Dave will be blown away, disintegrated into the atoms of which diamonds are made. 100. Best 11 sets, first to six goes to tomorrow's final. Dave Askew. To one dot manly. From Reading, 18 gram, 1820 darts are his chosen weapons and uh, Phil Taylor. As always, throwing 24 gram unicorn darts, a member of the unicorn exhibition team for many years successfully. A darts fairy story. Uh, about 11 years ago, he was getting 74 nice quid a week on the door when Eric Bristow waved that magic wand and stuck that mighty Roman nose out of him and said, You can be a world champ, Al Bristow Cajol. Bristow sponsored. Well, I ask you, as the song said, what a way to treat a guy. That's Taylor's motto. <laughs> what a way to treat a guy is to bully him, butter him, hit him at every opportunity. we heavy have scores. Askew stood well over to the right of the hockey, but uh, very swiftly finding range and rhythm. Taylor. It's quite simply called the greatest dance player who ever drew breath. And he is. Well, Askew has a chance here at a 14 dart kill to go one up in the first set. Taylor resting on 102. Now uh, then, 26. That's a nice little finish. 81. And that's about 15 darts. And, uh, Askew saying, well, you may be the greatest, but uh, even Muhammad Ali was sat on the seat of his pants during his career. Try and hang on to the seat of Taylor's pants is like trying to hang on the pants of Halley's Comet. Yes. <laughs> and that only comes around, what, every 112 years, and a player like Taylor comes around about that regularity too. Never see his like again. Have a shot. I say we we've been privileged to watch this guy through his magnificent uh, decade in the 90s, and we know that uh, he's just uh, flexing his muscles at the moment. So I'd seen him in magnificent when he uh, did one of the greatest ever embassy finals, beating Gregory. It went at the very last possible dart of the deciding set. Uh, I remember him here in blistering form and a year ago he took John part a part up there blitzed him whitewashed him 107 average he's been working on his technique of counter stacking switch when he comes to he can now not only put the three guards up the bed at the 60 he can put them down good better best never let it rest till the good is better the better best he's a perfectionist yes Phil Taylor has put a whole new rotation on the expression kind of stacking until now something in a supermarket all the more reason to watch it <laughs>
but we know said that uh, he will start to really hit the gold standard in about maybe four or five legs time. So it's a slow starter. Always has been. Two twelves, we think, if that's in. Yeah, it was. <laughs> 144 for two love, not now for Askew. 100. The power from the potteries. Look at it. Double six. Clear bed, there's no flight in the way, this should be in. Bottom of the board, difficult adjustment. So Askew must take this kind of opportunity to get some... Two uh, sixteens. Early credit in the bank. Well! Yeah. Yeah. Powers in the game! Yeah. Uh, Dave Askew here will surely be thinking of last year when he was whitewashed and will be thinking it would be encouraging. He wants to put that behind him in the first set. Yeah. I'll try to kill a Blitzton. Like he's blitzed just with everybody else over the last, particularly since Sky started its sensational coverage of darts in 94. 96. Lord of the Flings! Oh, Shad said that. And Highland flinging in the potteries if Taylor wins the final tomorrow night. He's got to. And in, that, to worry about, yeah? and in that wonderful pub where he does his practice and really sit the jaw about the only man who can say it properly. Practice is in the Saga Maker's bottom knocker. Saga Maker's bottom knocker. You don't get pubs like that in Parkland. Been in one or two stagger makers. Start club, the PDC. Well, he certainly dominated it since it was the WDC. Yes, he's been the chairman of the board. 16. But one thing we are never with him that's board. Ask you, looking good, then yeah. to take the set against the greatest player ever. I would put a little bit of uh, garlic in the crowdy. 101. Treble 19 for double 12. For the set against the power! We would love that to go in. Still, Taylor's got a tall order here, 139, at least it would be to most men. Power only average in 90 to Dave's 94. Dave has come out blistering. But he knows one expected power will get going later on with big average 100. But he might have problems here. Still one dot. Quarter past. Double six. <laughs> that might be fatal here. Taylor on double top. Let him in. Let him in here. Concentration. Success. It saves the set. Yes, dart heads, wide heads. Everybody knows the darts goes to him. <laughs> Looks like he's just come back from the Battle of Hastings. Taylor with the darts here still has yet to find uh, a lovely adjustment. Uh, his the third dart. Form. With the 32 best players at the best venue. The circus tavern perfect. You get value for money. Here we go. Here we go. In and out. <laughs> Just slide took his wrist off the pedal. Anatomically quite crafty. Has got no intention of letting Dave get so much as a set. He makes Ebenezer Scrooge look like a Oriental rich potentate. Gives nothing away to that. Rest of the time. Bully the other guy. Don't give the chucker an even chance. 
Just getting a, a rather wicked little deflection there, Askew into the treble five. 182 for Taylor, he'll be looking for ton 40. That's right. Treble 19, cover. Middle of the bed. This is looking ominous now. Taylor's pushed his average up to 95. For Taylor, 20 for double top. He could use that to stack it in. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> Brilliant use of the darts. He about a pistol packing, Mama. He's a tungsten stacking daddy. Well, Askew won the first two legs, but it had the effect on Taylor of a gnat gnawing at an elephant's ear hole. Absolutely. Cover shot. But that barrel is nicely laid to send this in off the stack as well. Fine, classical kind of throw, neat, economical from Ashley. Yep. Very efficient. <laughs> yes, efficient is the word. Yeah, it's it's nice it's it's yeah. And fans, friends. Taylor's going to come around the narrow side, over adjusted, just slung the dart in at the cover five. Well. Yes, Dave Askew with a brilliant chance of going to the double in about six darts for this set. Yeah, well, he missed four in the third, which handed the initiative to Philip Taylor. And he can't really afford to do that, even though Taylor is... Uh, How I usually get to 180 at this stage in proceedings. Stand ask you, he knows he can't afford a banana skin here. He's got to keep pegging and he's got to get to the double and he's got to hit it. Taylor's right on his shirt tails here. Yeah, we'll watch here. He'll go for travel 20s, but 18s might come into the equation in a moment or two. That's the perfect lie just to get that one in. He's still got half the bed. Oh. <laughs> Which means Askew knows really he's got to go out on this 118. Still a shot, needs treble 20. He's got to come away now. Good shot, but it might not be in time. Power two darts. Yeah. Away from capturing a set that he looked so much like losing. Big 18 usually. Yeah, by the way, tops will do. Yeah. The power was on the ropes, but Dave couldn't do the biz. as a waitress and cocktail bowling at you. Now, five years later on, you've got the world at your feet. Success has been so easy for you. But don't forget it's me to put you where you are now. And I can put you back down to... Don't... Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Whoa, 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 whoa! get ringtones for mobile phones through your TV. Just press the red button and select ringtones. 
Are there any treatments you can buy for hereditary hair loss? Yes, lots. But are any of them medically proven to work? Just one. Regain. I still need convincing. Well, it's prescription strength, and although results may vary, Regain Extra Strength is proven to regrow hair in the majority of men. Regain revitalizes follicles so they can go on producing hair. And with Regain Extra Strength, you could see results in as little as eight weeks. How can I find out more? Call 0845 700 4500 or visit our website. If you're a Vodafone customer, Christmas isn't over. You still have heaps of gifts to look forward to, like free voicemail, free ringtones and free text games. But don't forget, they're only free to use until the end of January. I'm gifted. How are you? Ask at your Vodafone retailer. Don't you want a fantastic deal on a Fiat Punto? Don't you want me, baby? Of course you do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Call 0800 717 Welcome back live to the Circus Tavern with Phil the Power in action. Freddie Williams, respected referee, wearing the distinctive tie of Dagenham and Redbridge Football Club, the little local club who play Ipswich in the FA Cup. We gather there's a pitch inspection tomorrow morning. They'll be looking for giant killing. David Askew here will be looking to kill the biggest giant in world darts. And he had his chances in that first set. Four darts at a double to win the third leg and the set, missed them, and Taylor was hit and up like a rat in a rhododendron bush. Absolutely. The only way to be this jolly giant is to whack him with a beanstalk. Taylor in there with casualties. Casualties. Well, Taylor walked off for that break to the music of what a man, what a man, what a mighty man, and what an appropriate choice. It looks like he's just gliding into overdrive. And what did I say, Davey, when I was not just two, his average has moved up to nearly 102. I think that the, the wonderful thing about it is if we just watch Askew here, because he's got but the point I was going to make, 14th. hang on, we'll watch for this double 14, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need to watch it, I hope we was in. We haven't got uh, time to, to make an observation with Taylor. And despite that 180, ask you taken to the cleaners there. The lad could be taken to the cleaners, spun dry and hung out on a line with plastic clips in about an hour by the power. The point I was going to make, Sid, was that Taylor's average sort of saw something. You, you don't notice it. And uh, Askew's desperately trying to hang on to it. He's doing 96. He's Taylor's now at 103. He averaged 111 in his last game. That is fun, dabby, dusty darts. Yes, and you know, Sid, there was one moment in that game against Burgess uh, when he, I think it was over three or four sets, he was averaging 128. That's right, one, two, it. Which is. Write it down, all you want to write. He is the greatest ever, and I bet he's averaging this. I bet his end average isn't far off 107. Hundred and twenty intergalactic. Years ago, we thought it was great to see one hundred and eighty on me and Deb work on the indoor league together. The famous show. Uh, I reckon they could have won a world title in '93, 15 years ago, or '97, about eight years ago. Now to be Taylor, you're going to have to average it with 110. It's in the green. Well, Askew is playing very bravely. Uh, these kind of shots are well within uh, Phil Taylor's capacity. Needs treble 18 now for the ball. 
Martin wants the ball. It lost the line and the last in shots. Lucky. Dan Dib with a chance then. Another fat 20. Should have one down at a double here. This is the one. Got to make it pay. Oh, no, yeah. Not good enough. Oh, what's his lady? Wife suffering. Fat nine. Skinny double eight. Cross the board at two falls. Uh, again, these are the opportunities that Ashby must grab. Cold, two tens. No, I can't do that. No, Donna there, hold your head. He knows that Taylor isn't likely to miss again. Double four. Long way off by Easton, there's two twos. One of his daughters giving it the victory salute. Game on, please. Thank you. So Taylor has an important domestic event later this summer when he's scheduled to become a grandfather. The granddaddy of them all. 100. Yep. Well, Askew had what there, four darts at a double. <laughs> Can't miss those Blocks against the bed. Uh, see, uh, it means that you do the slack dart after. 16. I've been telling Ronnie and Ronnie about this, the Essex cricketer, about how he stacks them like that. The darts especially made, they're longer than most darts. And he actually is working against gravity by his wrist to finger spin to actually make the dart lift up when gravity's taking it down and he actually makes the target bigger, just watch if he was there on the bed, he lands at an angle of about 8 degrees which means he precisely comes in, now, he'll come in over the flight to the 60 see what I mean? see what I mean? 100! left himself a shot, 161, he still has the highest of the week, 167 well, only one better than that of course, 170 See, that's the real greed, greed, greed of the man, of the perfectionist. He wants a 50 grand first prize, yeah. He also wants a grand for the biggest shot. And I think in every game so far, I said he's had a serious tilt at a nine darter. 99. Oh, it's Stan James offering 100,000 pounds for a televised nine dart. And take it from me without any prejudice, it makes a 147 in snooker. Looks small beer. 62. No look at all in a nine dot. Treble 10 should be the first target. So single 12 for double top. For the set. So as usual, do you get chances at Taylor? Sure you do, bud. 150s, 160s. He asks the superhuman of human dart players. Double top of three sets. Rather now two sets. Kicked off either end. He didn't want to hit the barrel. He's still got an open bed to the left, particularly. <laughs> so Taylor is confirming now two sets to nil up. The FBI's top agent, find her, we find the money, is going undercover. Cherry's got a long lost grandmother. Damn, you fine. To protect a woman. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? I've gone undercover as Big Mom. Wow. She's big. That's just my flashlight. She's bad. She's completely barking mad. I take her on that shit. Come on, man. Big Mama's house, tomorrow at 8 on Sky Premiere.
Two looks for the price of one from just £75 at Specsavers Opticians. Experience Oasis on the edge of the Lake District and enjoy over 100 activities. Oasis, nowhere comes close. For a brochure, call 0805 086 086. This Sunday, find out for yourself if Observer Sport Monthly delivers something that sports coverage has long needed. Find out how the French have influenced English football only in the Observer this Sunday. On a reconnaissance mission, Lieutenant Chris Burnett will become a pawn in a game played by superpowers. Let's get our boy back. Behind enemy lines. Go! Order any pizza from our menu, including Create Your Own, at any size for just $9.99. And with our heat wave delivery system, it'll arrive oven hot. For any pizza, any size at $9.99. Just call Domino's or press red now. Domino's. Freshly made. Delivered hot. We get every... We get everybody here, the darts, Cupid's here! Marry me, Gaynor, go on, make his day! Yes, well, Cupid fired a few arrows. The dart player's lament, marry me, Gaynor, or it'll break my dart. Well, Taylor is doing his best to break uh, Askew's heart and darts. We have to uh, break his throw here to go three up, and Taylor hasn't been anywhere near his imperious best yet, but... Uh, he still had the measure of uh, David Askew, who could have won the first set. Taylor's average has come down. City had seven darts at doubles and missed in the last set, and that's yep. uh, mm, unheard of. Well, he's made a mint, and he's imperious. Taylor. Greatest ever. Yeah. Only average of 96 at the moment, and there is another factor which I maybe haven't told you, is that maybe he does not need a ton plus average to beat David Askew. Well, dipping it ask you, he, he's been pretty steady around about eight. Well, in his three matches, he's at 88, 87, 87. So, and that is over 10 points behind Taylor. Taylor, that is only average, but with that kind of score and that kind of potential, ask you can push his average up. But we know this fella can go another 15 points up the scale. Sure can. 59. <laughs> Chance for Askew, he's got to take these chances, and Taylor's on 167, we note, which he's already hit once this week. Treble 12's very handy, gets it. Two thirteens. Ah. He's already done one of these, Taylor. In the tournament. 51, 17. 51 it should be, yes. 13 to crack for Askew. Big five, two fours. Still a chance, two fours. Power on a two dart. Oh no, Davey, you're going to look to. Leg slap, see me. Tops to go further ahead. Well, you see, that's the difference. Ask you, three dart to the double. And uh, Taylor steps straight in like this. Slapped his wrist. Don't give me the merest crumb. I will make a mighty meal of it. So he won the darts, the leg against the throw. He has the darts here. Well, in the nursery rhyme, he ground bones to make his bread. What a bad analogous statement for Taylor. He is a bully. Bristo taught him. Bully. If he hits 100, hit 140. If he hits 140, hit 180. Clatter him. Make him say internally, what am I doing here? 59. Well, it's not the uh, all-dominant uh, Taylor we have seen previously this week, but he's doing enough, and uh, Askew can but play his game, try to up his average, try to hit his doubles. Got a glimmer of a chance here, unless uh, Taylor suddenly turns up the gas. Who's Chip? It's a safe Chip. 
what's he down for? Taylor not really uh, in the sensational form he was in his second match when he averaged 111. Yes, that was one of those sublime uh, moments, wasn't it? When everything just seemed to... He, he, it was one of those moments, Sid, when he, he appeared to have mastered the game. Exactly, that's the key word, mastery. If chucking medal in a mat. Shanghai! Shanghai, yep. For Dave to go kajunk. <laughs> 120. Single for double. Right, spooning ministry with your eyes shut. The flow is unbelievable. The power's not clean well. It's not by Taylor standards, uh, vintage. It's not even demi sec. It's, uh, it'll do. It's 97 average. The circus traditionally has seen many big tops, and Taylor is big on double tops. Big tops spinning the dark, spinning them into that 60. Well, it was about time that Taylor had a little sniff at a nine dart finish, and he's in line now. Yes, no, that's four good darts. That's Superb five. movement laterally along the bed. Oh, Went off the barrel, oh, and you got six on the way to 100,000 pounds. He was thinking about it, he's got it on his mind. Sets himself up for this, the third set, mind. Cover shot now. Probably get two in here. One would be very handy now. Mm. Uh, just uh, well, an outside chance say, 180 here. needed here to pressure yeah. Taylor's little uh, three-daughter. Got to admire Askew again. He's he's hung on in there bravely, but uh, he's had what two, four, eight, eleven darts missed at doubles. Can't do that against Taylor. Has to cover now. Trouble nineteen. Get it. Well, he's got options here. I think he's looking at six. Double top for three zip. <laughs> Left hand end maybe here. Went for it. Two tens. <laughs> Not playing well by his standard, but it pleases his misses. Average 97. And he's three sets to nearly could be halfway there. <laughs> And Taylor with the throw here, and David Askew, like John Park before him, will be haunted by the spectre of yesteryear. The whitewash looms, but... Look at uh, Phil. This is the real Phil Spectre. Because <laughs> yeah. he can uh, do run, run. No rebel, what a man. Just saw the guy of the dark players check the house for at night. Lock up cupboards straight from the land of Stephen King, a monster stalking the office of the world. Oh, those placards have been popular this week, Sid. Uh, and Askew still chipping away. Yes! You need to be more than a chip away with Taylor. You've got to be an Iroquois. <laughs> Three nil. Yes, Six it's... and you'll be in the final against one dot Manley tomorrow. 
think we've really coined a new phase, or you have, Sid, here. So many players have been uh, haunted by performances against Phil Taylor. Sean, Shane Burgess always seems to run into him. So many blokes have been wiped out. I think the Phil Spectre might become part of the darting vocabulary. <laughs> Askew in front here, should win this leg from here. Got to hit his doubles, mine. A hundred and one for Askew. You get the feeling <coughs> he's got to get it here. Two twelves. Oh, rookie on the way out. Askew hasn't won uh, a leg since the first set. He said the last two sets to zip. 126 for Taylor on 19s. Now the treble to leave the ball. Got to hit it now, uh, Diamond Boy. Yes. against Taylor's throw as well, so that may well give him encouragement. Good style, no body movement at all, only uh, lower arm actually doing any movement. And the power locks, he's a stocky man, Taylor, he's not that tall. But that arm straightens out. Well, he's not uh, like not at his best. But you know what he's like? He's quite capable of putting in like an eight-minute surge. It'll include maximums and 150 odd shutouts. So that's what Bristow taught him. You've got to bully yourself, and then you'll bully them. 134. Yeah, and you see the pressure Taylor shooting means that he's forced to get big trebles. Might not be enough, you see. If Taylor pops in 140, 160 here. There's more pressure. It's not easy. He's bullying at every occasion. Definitely not Taylor at full majesty. Uh, Askew was careless there, hasn't left his shot, that could let uh, Taylor through. You've got to use all your working parts against Taylor, your noddle, as well as the old throwing arm, and the eye accuracy. <laughs> Looking to leave himself a two-darter now. Lovely. Uh, that really is considered thinking and throwing. 113, Taylor needs this. 13 for double top. Well, for two rounds in the fourth set, David Askew. Two sixteens. Now he's, he's got three quarters of the bet here, Matt. Oh, this is awful. Dilemma, where do you go? Oh, he went low and missed. Yes, you see, he's such a hard task master, Taylor. Just give him a glimmer. And you see, he's getting the darts advantage, so he'll throw. If he doesn't take the next two legs, he will throw in legs this one, three, and also in five. Again, we have to say Taylor now 94, which is uh, Small disappointing. Beer. disappointing by his standards. He's averaged 98 twice in this and 111 oh. once. Oh. Magic. With effortless ease. Home by hours of practice. Tommy Cox, top PDC man said to me, he loves practicing, Sid, he loves it, he'll practice forever. 
You can't get him out of the practice room. Well, Askew requires 10.40 here to just uh, stay all uh, Taylor Shirt tells. 184, Taylor would just try to square this off and leave himself a double. Superb, and you see how much room he's left for this one. Oh, that's magic. Okay. But I want to do emails, can he really reverse stack? He could put 15 darts if you wanted at all angles into that 60. Usually three is enough. Yes, I often wonder, Sid, why we don't have that in record breakers, because it, it would be interesting to see just how many darts you could get into a treble. Oh. And now 16, double eight. Taylor is unsheathing his swords. Sitting wrecked, proud, every right to be. Hell Taylor, MBE. Monumental ballistic expertise. Taylor going for four zip then. Magic. It's a kind of magic! Once again, intoxicating potential. In fact, toxic darts for dear by the power. Just too high to be thinking with the nine data. Cover shot now, job 19. So Askew, who was one up and had three darts to the double for two love in this set. Now, again, has his... Gotta get a big trouble now. Back acquainted to the ropes. We have to fancy Taylor at this point. There's that beautiful adjustment. You see, the dart lands at about six or eight degrees to deliberately leave to clear the target. He's not just aiming at the bed. He's thinking about angles of entry of the next two darts. Askew has a good look. Should stay there. Travel 20 for double 12. Two 12s for four zip. Well, he's only averaging 97. It's enough to handle Dave at the moment. His daughter is very happy down ringside. So all the Taylor fans here, four to nothing. The world champ leads.
join us this year at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida to celebrate the 100th birthday of Walt Disney, the man who started it all. We share a dream come true. <coughs> Irritating cough. Meltus. Shut that cough up. Hi. Oh, wait. I'll be right back. Sometimes you want to feel like you've just brushed your teeth when you can't brush your teeth. But now here's a better way. Introducing Colgate Dental Gum. Colgate Dental Gum not only tastes great, its micro-cleaning crystals actually help clean your whole mouth. Okay, got it. I suppose you've met my sister. New Colgate Dental Gum. It helps clean your mouth. Well, it is a little bit like a walk by a pottery canal at the moment for Phil the Power Taylor. Dave Askew is going along on an 86 average and the Power is dawdling this with a 98 average. That's his sort of bottom gear. He has in this tournament actually had a 111 average in one of his games. And it is a key point that he, he doesn't need, it's cruel to Dave, Taylor I don't think needs a higher average than 98. To handle Dave. Dave's had chances, uh, but uh, he hasn't taken them. So it's race to six. The only question I think now is John Gwynn joins me in commentary. John is can ask you put any kind of little veneer on this scoreline by getting a set. Well, he had a golden chance at the beginning of the match. Never will a player have a better chance of stealing an early march history it may be but worth recording one up two up against the three took the second leg wanted double 12 after hitting 20 treble 19 double 12 didn't go in another dart singled it two darts at double six he would have gone in Sid a set up having won it three nil and the confidence that would have given him but uh, not to be uh, just to remind you, the Sorry. finals at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Peter Manley's already there. He'll be practicing. And at the moment, Taylor is definitely looking like having a crack at his 10th world title. Even in that fourth set, Sid, with, with, that we've just seen, uh, ironically, the only other leg Askew won, the first leg of that set, was with the double 12, <laughs> if he'd have got it in the... Uh, and then the next leg, he had three darts at a double. You've got to be hitting them. Here's another opportunity. Got to get it. Because, yes, that's it. That's only the fourth leg he's won. But he's ahead in the fifth set. There's only Nowhere lost. near the precision oh. point with his first darts here that he was when he got 111 average. The perfect dart is the one in the bottom of the bedroom, so he puts two more in it, Taylor. And it's... Uh, not not tight Dave's adjustment he's not forcing Tiller to take his average above 100 well he's getting close that's a 180 that's a fourth 180 for Taylor in fact uh, his third in four legs and it's now 99.4 Sid yeah, well, I reckon, uh, against Dave, he might not have to do a, a massive average like 111. I think he might end with about 104, uh, Because he's so far ahead that he can now just uh, relax the most important muscle in the dark player, the one between his lugs just needs to relax. And because he puts in so many hours of practice, they should flow. Well, despite going so far behind, uh, Askew has looked pretty cool. Apart from that last throw, 41, it might be just starting to tell on him now. Needs another maximum here, even to threaten Taylor. Yes, a 41 and a 45, just starting to really go now. Tops. Crowd don't even applaud when Taylor hits the double first dart. They are very sophisticated, if not blasé now. They rarely applaud hundreds. They hardly applaud 140s. 
They want a hundred and eighties. Oh, and Taylor's on the hockey. They got plenty of them. Back and nails, shot. Jesse's going to reply with guilt. A great reverse stacking shot. That's the thing he's brought in the last year that he didn't have. Working down the 60 bed. Phenomenal. Oh, Dave having a nightmare. Yes, this is one of those legs that uh, can be a bad one in the pub's B team. It uh, is something they will have to try and rectify next leg. Again, the normal stacking technique, taking them up. If the guy can move them laterally, open down the bed to get three in. It's arranged like triangles past the flight to get them in. Miyamoto's are in serious bother. And yeah, this set so far, a 41, a 45 in this leg. I've seen some low scoring two nine darts. He's only scored 128. I've got the wide pulverizing cover shots, John. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we see some pulverizing cover shots in another sport I commentate on, Sid, but Taylor produces them too. See, he needed to have done that sort of thing with the last 12 darts. Treble 19. He might go 20, but I doubt it. That's right, that leaves tops. For a 12 dot at tops. Oh. Same hit place, he hit the same place! He could pin a fly to tops by its eye. Aye, aye. They got That's a job, they like. <laughs> <laughs> Going here then for yet another set. It's he's averaging exactly 100, Taylor, and by his standards, this is a pedestrian performance. 99.54. I wish I were a pedestrian like him. 100. Being pedestrian, protected from me, this stage is his precinct. Nine times world champion. Sure as eggs will be in tomorrow's final against my name. The first set, 3 2. Taylor coming from two legs down. Four darts for the double for the set. Ask you. It's been tailored ever since, apart from the first leg of the fourth and the first of this, the fifth. If only. Maybe. is averaging 86, which isn't bad, but Taylor on a slack night, averaging only 100, 100.4, because he doesn't need to do much more. Yeah, that's his daughter. He was giving high fives. Dennis Law victory salutes. Early doors. Oh, unlucky. So 75, treble 17 for double 12. Well, 72. I'll go treble 20, double 6 if I know. 52. And tops. And you see again, like uh, Shin Burgess also used to say, yeah, you get chances, 140s, 150s, 160s. He asks the impossible of mere mortals. Well, I would normally say that Daskus just pressurised the shot with an excellent, but uh, an excellent <laughs> score, but you can't, can you? Same spot, or maybe an eighth of an inch out. Uh, Lady wife, Yvonne, very happy. Taylor one set now away from going into tomorrow's final and he's cracked at a 10th world title. Probably about to witness the final blow, the last set of the night. Nothing certain in this game, but Taylor five sets to nil up, throwing first against Askew. And I ask you, Sid, it is a tall order indeed. An impossibility if ever there was. Well, I ask you, what a way to treat a guy. Do not let his arrows fly. Well, I ask you. 
Dave has got an 86 average, which I think is never going to be good enough to handle the power. Well, I think it was three nights ago. We were here at uh, three or four nights ago, anyway, uh, the, earlier in the competition. Alan Warriner and Colin Lloyd up there on that stage until well after midnight. And I remember saying they shouldn't really be there. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's been a wonderful week in terms of fitting everything in, Sid, and uh, perhaps at this stage we ought to say that those who run these competitions, and I'm not talking necessarily about ourselves at Sky or indeed the PDC as such, yeah. the tournament director Tommy Cox and his boys, they've put a lot of planning into this, a lot of work. And uh, whilst everything doesn't go 100% as they would uh, like, I think they've had a jolly good week. And they can sit back and enjoy tomorrow the final. Manly and, as we can see, If them Taylor. Romans had had Tommy Cox on the job, Hadrian's Wall would have been built in half the time. <laughs> 100! Here we go then, the power. Booking his place against one not Manly tomorrow and what should be a build of a final. Just getting some arrows practice on the maximum. <laughs> Pleasing his family, Chicharna Dadion. In Taylor's case, winning lots of money, the family, the darts together, goes to foreign parts together. And this is no foreign part, no stranger to the power, double eight. Yeah. For once, he went astray. Askew, and so, Askew, 101, double 16. No, oh, yes! With intent to finish in with a bit of an ear. And there's no question about it, although Askew has merely delayed the inevitable with that leg, uh, we are going to see tomorrow night the best two men of the week Correct. in the final. Yeah, one dot Manley. He's got a, a mouth like time mouth at times. He does lead with his lip. Quite often it's just a wind up. That's a dark mouth, myself. One dark mouth, but uh, he, he, Peter's been terrific this week, I think. He's been terrific in his demeanour and his manner, and terrific with his darts, and, uh, well... Correction, this is Taylor's manner. <laughs> yes, he has, a lovely lad, I think it's half wind up. Taylor, we're going to sew it up in the next two or three legs. Well, I'll ask you, can say one thing, any? Lovely ring of confidence about that girl, isn't there? Yeah. Ask you, can say one thing, Sid, that not many can. He led in the first set, he led in the fourth set, he led in the fifth set, and he's leading in the sixth. Trouble is, not for long. Could get a bit more respect ability if we uh, had a clutter of this one or four. 70 left, so treble 18 it looks as though he's going for. Well, he's out. Two, two 18s to that hockey before Dave's away with his darts. Two nines. Well, as the cry goes out, the ambulance for Askew. And really, the question is, can Taylor reach a three-figure average? 99.95, it's not essential, but it's always nice to be able to say he finished with a 100 average, and uh, he's not far off that. Shot 
Oh, and so good. Isn't it wonderful to watch? Well, it's, it's the technique to see. He's got these special made long darts. He actually spins it so it beats gravity. It lands at a slight angle to get more in the bed. And he usually hits the middle of the bed. If he doesn't, he's got technique to move along the bed in a way that I've never seen in 25 years. A bloke able to manoeuvre around that 60. 76. See the flight cam here, now look, there you go, he does not want it to land parallel to the floor. He likes that angle, maybe that's a bit long, but he likes it with an 8 degree angle to work the next dart over. And the length of the dart, the added length of the dart, assists in the aerodynamical Look at that, down. look at that progress, just what we were saying, the aerodynamics, he has finessed. Lobo, Bristol, Jockey Wilson, who threw like a man developing the googly. This man is the king of dance dynamics. Little two. Madhouse. They're all for him, the Gladhouse. Come on, Daddy. Says the band. Right, there we go. Taylor takes the leg. Is it tomorrow's final against Peter Wondart Manley? Still saying come on to himself, Askew. He wants to stay up there as long as he possibly can. Take this set to a deciding leg. Not a pride to play for. It's not the punishment of the power himself. Only 100 by Taylor. But you know that Dave's got to get at least at least 160 per visit to get a pot at a double. This is where the bully comes in. This is where Taylor was taught by Bristol to whack in three cripplers. Just a bit high. Cover shot. 99. Not out of this, ask you. Throwing first in this leg. Needs. We'll score here, ton 40 at least, to knows 100 ahead, and it ain't happening. He's sweating like a swam donkey in a sauna. He's asking you, mind, that's it, the heat, the pressure of playing Taylor. Unbearable. The perfect dart to bump the barrel in him. See what I mean? Vicious accuracy. Unseen, undreamed of in darts. And beautiful Yvonne Taylor to applauding her man. And what a man. Greatest ever seen. Now, once above. It wasn't carelessness that landed Taylor on 162. After all, he was on 302 before that and got the 140. It's though an excellent 180 from Askew that gives him half a chance. Treble 19. Needed it. 78 left. Treble 18. Well, he went for the treble 20, but 75 when he goes, and it's if he goes, Sid. See it now. Taylor 70. I fancy this. This to book his place against Manley and have a go at 10 world titles tomorrow. That's, That's an odd one. He wants 12, I think. Double top to go in the final. Yeah. Phil Power Taylor jumps about like a river dancer. His daughters are ecstatic. My daddy did it. Has he jumped? Or has he jumped? Or has he jumped for Robert? And it's in the final. Yes, the power continues on his relentless way. And Manley is the only man who can get now between Taylor and a set title.